Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm not just interested in gardening, um, it's also nature too. I wanted to show you this little special spot in Manchester, so let me take you. This looks like a lush urban meadow, filled with daisies, poppies, buttercups and many many more wildflowers. But let's take a look above the undergrowth. I'm in the middle of Castlefield in Manchester in a massive roundabout and as you can see this little roundabout is an absolute haven for bees and other pollinators. Sometimes we think that just because we live in the city centre that we don't have our own wildlife and ecosystems but actually that's just simply not the case. There are a few bees and many different types of flies but it was also really sad to see that there wasn't more. These kind of spaces are too few and far between. It got me thinking that as urban residents, we need to try and do more. Beautiful tall structures like this tree are slowly being replaced by structures like this. More and more, any vacant land is being turned into residential housing. That's why I believe projects like this are absolutely essential to our wildlife. If there are more projects like this and people optimise their balconies, our wildlife would be able to flourish in the city centre. These geese also feed up at the roundabout, but as you can see they have adapted to urban life. They come back year after year and if you live local to here, we've kind of just learnt to coexist with them. Well, maybe not so much the drivers. <laughs> Even at night, if you look carefully enough, you can still find some wildlife in the city centre. One of the tools I use to help me with my anxiety is going on a late night walk. I'll head to anywhere with water and as there are less people around I can really focus in on the sounds from the running water. <laughs> Imagine my surprise to find so many bats flying overhead such a short walk from the city centre. Here I ran into a fox foraging by the river. In an apartment complex, a stone's throw away from the cloud garden, this mama duck flies back every year to nest. Her and her brood get a little helping hand from the residents, but they are mainly left to their own devices. It's such a great example of our wildlife coexisting with humans. She corrals her troop and then leads them down to the river. To keep them safe, I'll be keeping their location quiet. But in my view, everything is connected. When I look out from my cloud garden, I just see so many spaces that we could be using to help encourage wildlife. It could be a couple of plants on your balcony or planting some wildflowers on a patch of green. Over the next few weeks or so, I'm going to show you some of the wildlife that I've introduced into my balcony. I'm also going to be taking part in the Wildlife Trust's 30 Days Wild 2021 Challenge. It's a really, really exciting challenge and anyone can take part, but I'm going to do another video on that a bit later. If you want to get involved with the 30 Days Wild Challenge, I'll leave everything in the description box below. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe too. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye!